Hey, what's going on, Daniel here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can host a webinar for completely free. So I know as a course creator, online content creator, you may wanna host webinars to sell your programs, your courses, and your, you know, your offerings. And one of the problems that I found that a lot of people are faced with when you're just starting out is, one, the high cost of all of these services, all the softwares, you know, Easy Webinar, Webinar Jam, Zoom Webinar, they are pretty expensive. And one way that I've been able to solve that for my existing client is by using a service that is free and that is just as efficient. If you are an online content creator, my name is Danielle. I help you people like yourself uh, develop marketing strategies, help you through the strategy, the tools to help you sell better, to help you sell more and to increase your revenue. So if all of this sounds good to you, consider subscribing to this channel. And if you have any specific questions at all, leave them down in the comment section down below. And if you want to get in touch with me, I'll leave a link in the description to book a call with me and I will be sure to get back to you. Now let's get right into it. So recently I was trying to help a client, you know, set up a webinar to sell one of their programs. And of course they're just getting started and I didn't see the need really to invest that much money into a webinar platform because I just found that, you know, they were charging so much and they didn't really have the requirements that we need at that price range. One, we needed to have at least a thousand people on that webinar and we need to be able to have you know, an indefinite amount of time to be on the webinar, at least, uh, you know, two to three hours. So what I did was I was now researching ways to which we can do this for free. And one way that I found is by live streaming to YouTube using a service like StreamYard. Now, if you don't know StreamYard, StreamLike is a web service that allows you to stream your live videos to platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. So you can do multiple live streaming all at once. So what we decided to use was StreamYard. We signed up for StreamYard, cost only $25 a month for what we needed and it was so perfect. So what we did was we hooked up StreamYard to YouTube and we live stream from StreamYard to YouTube. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you some of the results that we got because it was mind blowing. And thinking of the fact that we didn't have to, you know, pay hundreds of dollars for all these webinar apps. Now, I'm not saying webinar programs are not good, like Easy Webinar, Webinar Jam. As your business expands, you will you know, inevitably need to invest in one of these services. But if you're just starting out, you don't have a lot of money to invest, or you're just, you know, looking for a way to get the same type of results by not spending that much money until you make some money, I think StreamYard might be perfect for you. So what you wanna do is to go sign up on StreamYard.com and create a free plan. They let you use their service for free as long as you are okay having the StreamYard logo on the screen. Now, I wouldn't really recommend that, but if you have $25, I would say you should sign up for the $25 uh, you know, tier of their membership and you know, just uh, sign up on StreamYard and connect your YouTube channel with that. Now, your YouTube need to be live stream enabled. So what you wanna do first is to create a YouTube channel and enable live stream from your YouTube channel. Now, you need to make sure that you are doing Doing this 24 hours, at least 24 hours before your live stream. Because if you're doing it 20, less than 24 hours, YouTube takes about 24 hours to enable live stream once you have activated it. So you wanna do this 24 hours before your live stream begins. So once you are in your StreamYard, you sign up for StreamYard, what you wanna do is connect it to your YouTube channel and you've done all that. So it brings you to a screen such as this. So what you wanna do is to create a broadcast. Now it's going to ask you if you wanna create a new broadcast or you wanna pre-record a video. You can either pre-record if you wanna do uh, like a webinar or you can do a new broadcast if you're trying to uh, get on a live webinar where people are present in the comments, receiving comments live. So what you wanna do in that case is to select a new webinar. And as you can see right now, we've connected our YouTube channel and all you have to do is select, you know, that YouTube channel, insert your title, I'll do test live stream and add a description, whatever you want that to be. And you can either select public, unlisted or private, just like a regular YouTube video. And you can do unlisted if you don't want people to be able to uh, view them in their browse features or you don't want YouTube to recommend it. So only people who has the link will be able to view it or you can just make it private if you want. But I wouldn't recommend that. So you can schedule your live stream days in advance of your, I mean, of your uh, scheduled date or you can just go, um, uh, you can just go live right there or you can add a new destination. All of these 
destinations, Facebook page, Facebook group, Facebook profile, LinkedIn, YouTube channel, Twitter. You can go live on Stretch and open and you can use a custom RTMP, which is if you have a custom platform that you want to live stream to. Now, once you've done that, you can just click on create broadcast and it's going to go to the YouTube and you can, you know, just enter your YouTube studio and start broadcasting live to people. Now, I'm going to show you some of the results that we got in our, I mean, in our last broadcast that we did, which was yesterday. Um, so right now on the broadcast, we have, uh, I'm going to go to the analytics real quick. And as you can see right here, uh, as of this moment, I mean, during the live stream, we had about 1,300 and it's uh, grown even more since we completed that live stream. So now we have 1,600 people watch the live stream. We got, uh, I mean, about 32 hours of watch time. Many people watch about 32 hours of that live stream. And we gained you know, 21 new subscribers. So one of the advantages of doing this is that, you know, you also get to grow your YouTube channel. So these, this YouTube channel is pretty new as at the time that we uh, started the live stream we had about 87 subscribers and when that live stream ended we had about 251 new subscribers so that's one of the other benefits of using this um, this system if you have not uh, used it before and I'm gonna show you what types of result we got from the live stream. It is not mind blowing in any way, but we are still in the works, okay? So right now we sold some products inside of uh, you know that live stream. And as you can see here, we had you know 5,500, 5,500, 5,500, 2,500, 2,500, and we had another 5,500 payment come in in the last 24 hours alone. So as you can see, it works if you're trying to sell a product. So this is not like, you know, something, you know, that doesn't work, that you only need to pay for a software service or for a webinar service before you get started. You can do a live stream to YouTube using StreamYard and still collect payments. All you need to do is to have a payment page set up and you can pin the link to your uh, comment section once people are ready to purchase and they can just go purchase the same way you would on a webinar platform. So I believe this is an, you know, a cheap and efficient way to do it. If you're looking for ways to stream, uh, you know, to do a live webinar or to live stream uh, to your YouTube. And I, you know, this video was not sponsored in any way by StreamYard, but it's a, you know, something that I've done myself that I believe will be able to help you out. So if this video has been helpful, consider subscribing into this channel and if you need any uh, if you have any questions whatsoever leave them in the comments i'll be more than happy to get to them anyways my name is danielle and i will see you in the next video